Hey guys, welcome to another showcase today, and this is going to be showcasing my lever puzzle system, which is the version 2 of this asset, and this includes a bunch of PBR assets, which include a PBR related lever asset, and the sort of control box which allows you to test, reset and show some indicators for each. So this allows you to set a specific order on the controller of the object, then have as many levers as you want as long as you increment the number that's there. You'll be able to click on them in order and if you get the order wrong, you have a maximum order that you can set. You can see that the limits reach so we're not allowed to interact with any anymore. We can either test or reset if we feel that we've got it wrong. If we test and we get it wrong, it will just reset and it will be back to ready. And we need to get the order correct in any other case. So if we get the order correct, in this case it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There is a delay that you can add so you can't just mash all the levers and break the system. And when you can see that you've pressed all five, you can see that the limit's reached and we won't be able to yet again interact. We can press test. And you can see that it's been activated and then you can use a Unity event to change it and we can't then interact with anything else. So like I said, on the object itself, on the lever controller, it's got a way that we can set the order of depending on what the order should be. Set the pull limit to the amount of levers that we have. We can set the wait timer to how long before you can then pull another. And then we'll just add some sections to make sure that the lights change, the materials change, and we can set the actions and set some animations. And then we can have a Unity event, which when any of this is activated, you can activate another script. And under this, it has a couple of script for controlling the actual lever and the item. So you can choose whether it's a lever, test button or reset. So they're the things that we're going to interact with. We can set the animation. We set the lever number here. So we can tell you what the actual number is. So when we select on each, they've each got a different number and you can jumble up that order and change it in the controller itself. Switch model has just the same with the test and reset buttons. It comes with all the scripts, prefabs, documentation, and all the sounds included to get you started. And you can add as many as these as you want across the scene. And remember, if you do have any issues at all, be sure to send me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Contact me on Discord. So be sure to give me some feedback. Check it out in the Unity store. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Cheers.